Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. The agenda of this tutorial is creating and running the first Gradle Java project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. This tutorial is a little bit lengthy, so I have divided this into three parts. The part one, so we will do some setup for the Gradle project in IntelliJ IDEA and we will discuss few important points. In the tutorial part two, we will create a demo Java application. We will write some sample code. We will write test classes for that and we will see how to run the application through the Gradle. And in the tutorial part 3, we will see how to export the executable jar file of our Java project. Also, we will see how to run it through the Gradle. Let's begin with the tutorial part 1. Okay, let me take you inside the IntelliJ IDEA. Here, when you launch this, first time you will see this window. You need to click on the new project. When you click on the new project, so IntelliJ, IntelliJ IDEA first detect the installed JDK. Okay, uh, on the top uh, in the front of the name text box, you have to give the name of the project. When you come here at the language part, so we are selecting the Java. Build system will be Gradle because we are going to create the Gradle project. The JDK, you can see this is the uh, already selected and which is the detected by the IntelliJ IDEA system. So if you have any JDK installed on your system, that will be automatically detected. If you want to change the JDK, so you have an option here, download JDK. Only thing you need to do is that you must be connected through the internet. So that will be downloaded and then you can choose the option add JDK and you can select the, the particular JDK project. Now the Gradle DSL will be groovy. This one and we have the check boxes here so we will do uncheck because we are not going to uh, the sample code uh, by the IntelliJ IDEA and we will write our own code now if you go inside the advanced setting so Gradle distribution will be wrapper leave this thing as it is Gradle version will be 8.0 no change click on the create button once you click on the create button you will see few activities will occur on your uh, IntelliJ IDEA IDE. Also, you can see some uh, processes going on on the bottom. You have that progress bar running. On the left hand side, you can see your project setup is ready. And uh, still a few things is going on. Uh, you need to take a little break uh, until it finish all the setup. And then finally, you will get your complete first Gradle project inside the project explorer tab. So guys also you will see build.gradle file by the IntelliJ IDEA. And here you can see the group ID, version number, dependencies and the test dependencies also there. The one important thing I want to tell you, uh, the IntelliSense, the auto suggestion part work inside this Gradle a file as well so if you want to add more dependency you need to just search the name you need to just type the name and that auto suggestion will help you to select the appropriate dependency and then you can put it here so let me show you so i will press enter here and i will type something like this you can see the auto suggestions so IntelliSense work with the Gradle file as well. So right now I'm not going to add anything here. We want to make this simple. If you see you have the SRC file and uh, we have the main folder and we have the test folder as well. So first we will create the Java class file and then we will write the test case for that class file. On the right hand side you can see we have a Gradle tool window. Here we have some Gradle task. You can see we have the task node. If you expand this you will find the all the Gradle task related to our project okay so we will see the use of uh, the gradle tasks which are the important one as we move further we will see the use of these gradle tasks now you can minimize this gradle window if you go to the settings you can open this 
Gradle setting windows. Uh, you have uh, all the informations here about the project Gradle JVM and the build actions. You can quickly access them from the Gradle tool bar. Also, you have uh, the uh, build and run uh, information, run test case through the Gradle. Also, you have the Gradle distribution things. Also, the information about the Gradle JVM, as I have told you. So you will get all the details here through this Gradle setting window. Now we will close this and now we will see one more important thing. The project structure, you can see the project structure. You have to just simply uh, press the key combination control plus alt plus shift plus S and then you will have that uh, project structure window. You can see here this uh, all informations are here and uh, you can see the source, the path, dependencies, different tabs are there. We have the main folder, we have the test folder for the test classes. Now I'm closing this one. So guys, this is the way we are setting up the first Gradle project. Now uh, that's all for this uh, video. We will create the Java class and we will write the test cases for that Java class in the tutorial part two. I hope to see you there. If you found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and please subscribe to support. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.